Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. I was doing some reading, and it really made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Banks. Never hear about credit unions. They seem to be above board, want to be honest and good to their customers. Banks, on the other hand, would like to beat you over a club until the last nickel rolled out of your shoe. That's my opinion. But then again, look over time, look at what's happened during the recession that we've had, and look at how banks have helped customers. I can't finish that sentence because I can't think of anything after helped customers because there's nothing that really follows in line that's beneficial. So, moving on. Mobile applications. We have mobile phones. We have mobile tablets. And these banks create applications. You can download them for free. They don't charge you. Well, why would they? Where does the fee come in? That's what I found out that really annoyed me. Banks now are charging a convenience fee. They're rolling it out. They're testing it in the markets. Of course, if they get enough, uh, you know, negative feedback, as Bank of America did when they started to charge that ATM fee and then they revoked it, and other banks who were going to do it decided, ooh, Bank of America got such a backlash, we're not going to do that. On mobile applications, the convenience of checking your balance, transferring from one account to another, or any of those things that you would normally do with a mobile application for a, your bank or for your brokerage account, they now want to charge you fees for each and every little transaction that you do. A convenience fee. Convenient for the bank, inconvenient for you. So, my suggestion is, number one, check with your bank. If there's a mobile app, when you're using it, are you assessed fees? Do they have plans to assess fees? Have they rolled out a target market in which they're testing this application to, quote, convenience fee you to death until you're broke? Something to find out. Now, if that is to be the case, you can always walk into your branch. There's no charge for that. You can go onto the web. There's no charge for that. If your mobile app does it, delete it off of whatever mobile device you have, and start using your web browser. Start, if that is the case, and they start charging you for web access, that is absolutely ridiculous, I would suggest a credit union. Elsewise, an, a, an internet bank, the only problem with that is you can't make large withdrawals, but everything else, you'll find higher interest uh, on your uh, depository accounts, and you'll also find that you have practically no or very low fees with an internet bank. So. If you find that the mobile app for the bank that you particularly have is charging you fees, my suggestion is you ditch the bank. If they've already started nickeling and diming you, it's only going to go from nickels and dimes to 50 cent pieces to dollars to two dollars and just continue to move. My suggestion is a credit union, or if you're going to stick with your bank, that's perfectly fine. Hey, that's your money, not mine. Walk into your bank and do your banking there. Bank from your website on your computer. Just stay away from the mobile app and delete it. Let your bank know how, dishappy, how, how unhappy you are with them. But then again, they have millions of customers. And unfortunately, this world seems to be built more in a village of idiots than a village of people who speak their mind and let people know, I'm dissatisfied, and if you don't change it, I'm not going to use your services. If we had more people like that, believe me, I think Congress would work a lot better, and I think industry in general in America would work a lot better. But then again, it's not just me, it's up to you, because I'm only one person. We are 300 million strong plus. It's up to you. Now you have a good day, stay safe, be smart, and believe me, when it comes time to vocalize how you feel, you need to say it. Sitting there complaining about it does nothing. Putting it to the right person takes an action. Now you have a good day. We'll talk again soon. Ciao.